Missing bus routes cut during the pandemic. Good evening, I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez. And I'm Lisa Hughes in tonight for Paula. The T cut those routes when people stopped going to work, but now workers are commuting and they're wondering why the service hasn't been restored. We decided to get some answers and WBZ's Brandon Truitt has what we found. There's something missing in Medford. So it seems like there's plenty of public uh, busing around, just not to this neighborhood anymore, unfortunately. Medford, just one town to have bus routes cut at the start of the pandemic. But as more people are being called back into the office, it seems their options for getting there are limited. Without the 710, I looked for alternatives. The next alternatives were the 325 and 326 express buses that are about a half mile down this hill. Um, those were cut off as well. I would love to see the buses come back. Vanessa Petrellis lives in Medford but works in downtown Boston. Her bus line was cut and now Ubers to work. I wouldn't do that normally if it was running. I would be taking the bus. She used to take the express bus. It got her to Boston in about 15 minutes. The alternative bus routes more than quadruple her commute. Now she pays nearly three times as much a week to Uber but only commutes half as many days. I'm thinking that it's gonna be my new routine. The MBTA tells us this is the result of a driver and rider shortage, saying they're constantly working to prioritize service where ridership is steady. The MBTA says ridership is down roughly 35% compared to pre-pandemic levels. The T says they're adjusting where needed while also trying to restore service to support those returning to in-person school or work and support new and changing traffic patterns and behaviors. As the pandemic's outlook continues to improve, riders are eager for a route to normalcy soon. I really hope they reconsider uh, some of the bus routes that they've uh, taken back. In Medford, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.